Bro, Homelander is evil. And I don't care about y'all saying yeah, you. You can say he's oh he's he he's broken. He he he's just misunderstood. If you don't shut the bro, I'm about to get pressed, but I'm getting I'm about to get out of my seat because you, you really just you push my buttons right now, man. You're pushing my buttons right. You're pushing my We could be talking about <laughs> We're gonna really like look at this. We're gonna talk about how evil this Homelander is, bro. Homelander is freaking. Evil. I don't know oh, what I'm gonna say, bro. We're really gonna analyze some of the worst things he's done and really go into detail on how horrible this dude really is. Stormfront's death and the <laughs> and oh my googly moogly creepers. creepers. Oh my jeepers. Oh my goodness, Crawley. I sound like Drake right now. But like, dude. Oh, hell no. Homelander proceeds to like, it, it basically, the world makes like this fabricated birthday for Homelander, right? Homelander proceeds to have his birthday save and basically is about to save this girl from jumping off a roof, right? Right? We see that he's about to save her. It basically just starts to tell her that, oh, it's my birthday. And like, even if you do jump, I'll just catch you, blah, blah, blah. But he proceeds to look over at the Jumbotron or the news on the side of the buildings and see that dead. she killed herself, right? Now, now Homelander is pressed. This is where shit really hits the fan, bro. And oh my god. And this girl starts to lose. She, her, her, she doesn't even want to die anymore. That's how scared she is. Bro, we see that she proceeds to beg Homelander to just let her go and to save her. Homelander just tells her everything, just starts venting to her about how I don't even have a real birthday, this is just a fabricated thing, and that I was born in a freaking test tube, and that the only woman that I love just killed herself on my birthday. I'm not even my real birthday, but the day I was supposed to be the most happiest. And now, it seems like I just want to see you die. So she, just, she gets what? pressed. Homelander just tells her to jump. He lights up his eyes. She's cool. And he says, jump. And she, <laughs> jump. Well, right, let's dive into exhibit C. But we see that that happens. And Homelander starts to lose his cool after this him getting pressed crazy. by freaking queen Maeve about the whole oh she got camera proof of the whole plane scene and blah yada yada and he has to let ryan go and he Let's starts go. to lose his yeah. he starts to he starts to what the hell oh, wake no. up really this saying he can do whatever he wants i'm home at her yeah, yeah, yeah. this is where the infamous you use it or lose it scene comes in play and oh my googly moogly, Homelander is freaking crazy! <laughs> evil! You can't tell me he ain't evil because he is evil. He's evil, bro. He's an evil man, bro. He's evil, bro. Don't don't talk to me about he's misunderstood type bullshit, bro. He's evil. Bro. He's evil. We see that Homelander goes back to where it all started. Where him being raised in a freaking laboratory and him being basically sealed off from the rest of society and being tortured and tested on and seeing people and seeing his limits and his weaknesses and basically testing everything on him right we see that <laughs> we see that homelander goes back and basically starts off and the the tension is thick thicker than a bowl of oatmeal type thick thicker than ice spice type thick pause but he proceeds to bring an attention in the room that is unparalleled the aura that he is giving off is freaking insane he brings the ice cream cake and tells them to eat up don't let him milk now as he basically proceeds to have them all eat up right their final meals their final meals and that's the first thing i thought about as soon as homelander walked up in there with that cake he knew, shit, I might as well kill on a full stomach. Might as well kill them when they have a full stomach, right? You know? We see that Homelander. Let me get my breath in. Let me moisturize my mouth with my spit. Pause. Pause! 
Oh, hold up. Pause. What did I just say? Oh, hell so no. Homelander. Oh, my God, bro. Proceeds to basically cheek up everybody saying, oh, I, I know you, man. What's up, bro? What's up, Marty? What's up, guys? Right, right? What in the actual F goes on in the first couple minutes of the scene? Homelander proceeds to look around and basically starts to talk around. Oh, yada, yada, yada. Starts to cheek up everybody. Starts to act all nice, right? But they know exactly what's in store for them. And they know they probably going to die here, man. Mario tries to reason with Homelander telling him that you can, you could, you could say, but like, just, just let everybody else go. And she says, what, why would, why would I do that? That you don't want their cake? As Homelander tells him to call Rachel or call the other woman that was, I guess, the mother figure to Homelander doing his child years here. And basically she gets called in and she makes her way down there as it's her off day, but he tells him to call her in as he wants everybody here, everyone. We see that he starts to talk about one of the misfortunate adventures he's had when he was here, him throwing a paper ball and him saying in the paper ball in the trash can saying that this is a game he taught me. Frank as one of the, the game. co-workers say, like, taught him the game. what do you mean? As he says, oh, y'all remember? Oh. <laughs> you, you, you really don't remember, don't you? She, sorry, uh, earlier when I was talking about the girl, Barbara is her name. But this, so basically he goes on about how when I was in that oven, you threw a paper ball in this trash can. And you did a little, you know, Celebrational fist bump, right? A little ching ching, right? And you did that when I was being burnt away to a freaking crisp in that giant oven over there. And you proceeded to act like it was nothing. As other people were looking and spectating on my body, it did hurt. It hurt a lot. So, you know what? I want you to get in the oven. As the dude starts to get, get like, what? What, what, you, what you mean get in the oven? What, what? This is Frank. Frank's name, right? He, he's the dude I'm talking about. Frank. Frank says, wait, what do you mean? As Homelander starts to talk to him saying, well, you, you burnt, you, you hurt, no, no, man. man. As he says, I'm, I was just doing my job. I was just doing my job. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> You're going to hell. John, he says, Homelander. It's Homelander. Bro, it starts to get pressed, bro. <laughs> He's starting to lose his shit. As Homelander tells him to get in the stove. And then he says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Homelander. As he goes on about how, why would you be sorry? You were just doing your job. And oh my god! That's when I knew everybody up in this bitch is going to die. Except Barbara's bitch ass, bro. I sh she should have died too. Because when my boy Frank and Marty got the treatment done dirty on them, how in the. does the. the old lady with no years ahead of her live? Basically, Frank get fried to a crisp as Homelander misses the shot and says. I forgive you, Frank. As Frank dies. Oh my God. Everybody's like, what the fuck? What's going on? We're cooked. We're dead. We're dead. Everybody starts to lose their shit. And Frank dies. And Homelander proceeds to walk around. But he also starts to talk to Marty. Oh my Lord. I would have shit my sh my pants. And talking about it now, Marty can't even sh anymore. But we're gonna talk about how a Homelander started talking to Marty, right? He took Marty from the shoulder, right? And walked him over, right? To the room he was pit in when he was a child and says, you know that you were the one that was watching me. I was monitored 24 seven, right? But it's only that few moments of peace I had when no one was watching me. When you were off your shifts, right? And, it was only that little moment of time where, for that 
all those years, all those hours in that room, I only, I, I felt something good. That was the only time in all those years and all those days, I only felt good. And the only time where I felt good, I only feel something good. As Homelander proceeds to him and proceeds to tell him that one day you caught me with my pants down. And with me doing what boys do, growing boys, you hung me with my pants down and I was surprised. And the nickname you gave me was Squirt. Because, well, I squirted. And oh my god. Good googly moogly, bro. This is some outrageous crap, bro. Because Homelander proceeds to say, I, I forgive you, but I want you to pull down your pants and wank off in front of everyone in this room. Bro, what? And no, 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 I'm praying for you, Marty. Oh my God, bro! I'm praying for you, bro. What, what is he about to make him do? Bro's done for. Bro's cooked, literally. <laughs> bro, it looks like you're a little mushroom. Oh, oh my God, God. bro! Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, bro's cheering on. After a great start, huh? Anyway, I'll give you a little motivation. You get hard right now, or I'm gonna lazy. What does he mean, laser off what? Wait, 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 no way. <laughs> Bro, it ain't no way. Ain't no... Oh, my God, bro. Is it lose it, Marty? Your life is literally it's in your hands. Oh, no, bro, Homelander is an evil, bro. He's an evil son. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro really said more spit in the in the in the episode he said more spit nigga what oh my god <sighs> i'm gonna have to leave off the video there in conclusion homelander is the worst villain to possibly ever walk the face of the earth and he needs to be pit down in season five please kill him